What do forest fires, climate change, and the power grid have to do with each other? A lot, actually. Hi, I'm Caitlin, a social entrepreneur focused on environmental sustainability. And I'm Vic, an engineer who works with drones and artificial intelligence. We both live in California, and we're working to stop forest fires using AI to make power grids safer. When you flip on a light switch in your house, the light turns on instantly. But have you ever wondered how? The electricity that comes into your house runs through power lines that extend sometimes hundreds of miles to a substation that's connected to high voltage lines. That is the power grid. And all of that equipment is out in rain, snow, heat, and wind all year long. And as climate change creates more severe weather, it can damage this equipment. And all it takes is one down electrical wire to send sparks flying, and it could start a fire. And this is especially true in California. In the past 10 years, more than 1,500 forest fires have been caused by downed power lines. And when severe weather damages any part of the power grid, it puts a strain on the rest of the system which can cause power outages or rolling blackouts. To prevent forest fires caused by electrical equipment, technicians must inspect each section of the power grid. They used to do this in person, but now drones and helicopters can fly along the power lines, taking thousands of high zoom, high resolution photographs of the equipment. Each photograph contains loads of data that can be analyzed to identify equipment that's damaged and in need of repair. While it may take just a day to capture these photographs, it can take months to manually analyze them. And that delay could be the difference between safety and catastrophe. We thought there had to be a better way to analyze these images more quickly, identify any damaged equipment, and get it replaced before it sparks a fire. What would you do to solve this problem?